Yes! <laughs> so happy. My my punishment phase is over. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome again. I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom. Yes! It's December 1st, and you know what that means, folks. I can go back to live streaming, which is where I would like to be. And that's good. So now it all depends on work schedule as far as covering some pay-per-views. I wonder when the NWA pay-per-view. Oh, that's next Saturday. That's okay. I'll get I'll get to that later. Starcade. Just that's a little tease. But I'm here to talk about some snacks, and as you can tell, I'm really late doing stuff because it's Sunday. I managed to catch up on SmackDown last night as I had my leftover turkey sandwich. Amazing Thanksgiving tradition. Hope everyone out there had a good Thanksgiving. And those of you that went shopping on Thanksgiving, just be reminded there's a special place in hell reserved for you. I had to work Thursday. So I had a late, I had a real late Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey burgers! Arr. Stupid sh Maybe Sami Zayn was was right. But enough about that. Let's talk about SmackDown. Pyro everywhere. I'm so happy about the return of Pyro. That's awesome. Pyro, baby. Oh, that's right. I have to do that too. <laughs> I have to clean up my computer this week. I have like over 50 video files on my computer. And I can see my little circle filling up with more blue. Which is not good. But again, and then Roman Reigns! All the pyro! Baby! Boom! Uh, he calls out Baron Corbin. And then Roman Reigns called Baron Corbin. Baby! Hey! hey baby! They're using everything. Uh, so at least this leads to a match: Roman Reigns versus or the glorious Robert Roode. <laughs> Robert Roode, like he's having fun. Was he like a, did a little backward shuffle? That was kind of cool. Robert Roode's so good though. I don't know why, but they just haven't done much. Oh, uh, starts this match starts off as a classic wrestling match. Um, obviously Robert Roode. Is the heel and he has his buddies outside and Corbin and Dolph Ziggler. So Rain again has to contend with those two outside. Uh, this was actually an amazingly fun match. Again, Roman Reigns got driven. Ooh, back first into into the table. That has to hurt. Uh, Reigns realizes on the outside he's at a different advantage because it's three on one outside. So. Whenever he's on the outside, he gets beat up a lot. But once in the ring, of course, it's in the ring. Roman Reign. Oh, yes. And I have natural light because I'm doing their thing today. Yeah, it's better than all the artificial light. And I don't know. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to change all the lighting in, in the office. Just for a little video, but tough. Uh, eventually, Dolph tries to... Oh, wow. Yeah, that was it. Big something for Roman Reigns. Yeah, I was like having seven and sevens while I was doing this too, so. I'll be honest. I'm also shocked that I can read my writing half the time. Um, <laughs> but again, Dolph Ziggler, he gets up, tries to distract, eats a Superman punch. Uh, Corbin tries to distract him as well. He eats a Superman punch. Superman punch for everyone. Uh, Rude eventually <laughs> got speared. <laughs> And then Corbin and Dolph beat up. And whoa! This is what I like about Robert. He attempted murder. He brought a chair into the ring, beat up Roman, put his hand on the chair, took the scepter. He was going to whack Roman's head while being on the chair. Instead, Roman moved at the, at the nick of time. Like, that was very well timed. I like that time. It's a very good time. I like that time. I forget what song that. 
I, I know it's something stupid I've heard on the internet, so. But he put he literally put a hole in the chair with the scepter. Uh, then of course Roman Reigns drives Robert Roode outside because he he's Roman Reigns. He beats up everyone. <laughs> he, he tried to kill Robert Roode because he speared Roode through the barricade, left all that stuff down. Instead of putting him through the table, he just lifted said table up and dumped it right on Robert Roode. So you know what that means. Oh, and there was a sign. Simon, give Hobo Tom the up. But I'll tell you what, this was a fun match. This was a great way to start off SmackDown. This is a surf and turf match. Then there was a uh, Fiend and uh, Daniel O'Brien recap. Uh, the, the Fiend Again, he has a new belt, and it's only the Fiend's belt because the Fiend's belt is his face on a belt with hurt top heel on the bottom. But only the Fiend has it, though. Whereas Bray Wyatt, he still has the Blue Universal Championship belt. I actually like this in the fact that you have the, the, the two dichotomies. You have Bray Wyatt, who's obviously, I guess, the heel, the Fiend, the hurt, and they both have their own thing. It makes, gee, this feel like realistic. Realism in wrestling. Whoa. And then there's going to be a plan return for Sheamus. And then we have Mustafa Ali taking on Drew Gulak. 205, 205, 205. Um, again, they've done this. They trade chops. Again, Gulak, he's always the mat wrestler. I think he at one time teased going up. He's like, no, no high flying for Drew Gulak. However, Ali, fly, Ali, fly. He, he, um, after a little bit of exchange, Ali went for, got the tornado DDT and then the 450. Mustafa Ali wins. Again, another good, solid match. This was a cheeseburger match. Then we have Heavy Machinery being salesperson. Otis is the best. I have absolutely no idea how Tucker Knight keeps a straight face while being with Otis. Otis just seems like fun. He's probably the cool guy at the party. You know, he's probably like the chill guy at the party. He just hangs out by the grill, talks to people, eats food. Probably, I bet you, he's kind of low-key. That would be, that'd be fun to see. Um... And Daniel Bryan has has interviews. Yeah, he doesn't talk a lot. Followed by this, there's more Survivor Series recaps. Uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey come out. They, they do a promo. Uh, call it Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans punches Sasha in the face. Indeed. And of course, oh, happy birthday, bro. I have no idea. But uh, then there's more Firefly Funhouse where Huskus, he wants more Thanksgiving food. The muscle man says no. He gives us the real history about Thanksgiving with reptile men. Never knew that. <laughs> but then, of course, they did like the muscle man dance. And there's even a cameo by Devil Vince. So that was pretty cool. And so did reptile men. I wonder if I wonder if Luchasaurus is part of the reptile. This is a reptile man. Indeed. Wait, where's the phone? Oh, there it is. Uh, so then we had Boo Sonya Deville. Always I'll boo her. Taking on Nikki Cross. Oh, Nikki Cross is so cute. Nikki Cross is amazing. Um, it's a tradition for the most part. It's a traditional wrestling match. That's the way Spina Ville wants to keep it until Nikki Cross goes on Nikki Cross. It was crazy. This was kind of quick. Um, again, before this match, Manny Rose cut a promo on Nikki Cross, calling her like the cold Thanksgiving leftovers. Thanksgiving leftovers are pretty good, even if they are cold. But Nikki's hot. Nikki's a hot pile of Thanksgiving leftovers. Um. 
then let's see here. So somehow Billy gets distracted by something. And we have the roll up victory. Really? For Nikki Cross? No. Roll up victory is like for deserved wrestlers like Barry Barry Horowitz. Where it's like, oh, it's a real shock. So Sammy Zane should get a roll up victory one day. Again, right around the lines of Barry Horowitz. If you don't know who he is, giggle him. Google him. He always likes to pat himself on the back. So after Nikki gets the roll up, uh, Mandy Cross and Serena Ville beat up Nikki until there's the return of Alexa Bliss. And whoa. Mandy has such a butt. Some, I don't know how, why, well, how, where, it, all. Oh, I don't know. Um, and then, of course, once Alexa shows up, there's so much booty in the ring. Minus Boo Sonya Deville. Uh, I want to... I want... Oh, yeah. I know every so often... And actually, there hasn't been one in a while. I want a sex tape between Nikki and Alexa. I want one of those, like, naughty downloads. That would be good. <laughs> and then we get to Miz and Daniel Bryant. Miz says, yep, everyone, the Fiend's face has changed. Don't you change, Daniel Bryant. Don't face the Fiend. Heal who speaks truth. Again, Seth went, 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 went all psycho. Uh, he's beat up everyone. The Fiend's beat up everyone. Who else did the uh, he, he changed Finn Balor. Finn Balor became Prince Devitt, the real rock and roller. And then this leads to a funny, funny and useless backstage element. But as you can tell by the title, uh, Drake Maverick is trying to woo Dana Brooke. Drake Maverick, you just got married. Unless you're. No. I don't know. You're a naughty, naughty man, Drake Maverick. Um, he's trying to hit on Dana Brooke. She's just like, no. Dana Brooke got cute. I don't care what people say about Dana Brooke. She has, at least in my eyes, that ideal woman body. And I know in the WWE, they're all supposed to be muscly and stuff. Muscly women don't do it for me. Like Dana Brooke looks like she has just enough softness where if you touch her, you're not like touching bone. I know it might not make sense, but that's the way I like my women. Just that nice, I don't know. They don't look like this. They they, 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 they look like, like this, and there's something to grab and hold on to. Again, if you've ever seen the Leak Charlotte picks, I'm sure Charlotte Flair is an amazing, pretty woman. But again, hey, it's just my thing, though. Everyone has their own thing. And then Elias comes up, and, and he, starts to, he starts to hit on Dana by singing a song. Elias has it right. Elias has the algorithm. And then Dana Brooks doing, doing her little her, 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 her jiggle. I, I mean, dance. Or actually, I, I do mean jiggle. But, uh, hey, Dana, I know Patisse is hitting on you. I'm single too, though. Then we have uh, the New Day taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. And Cesaro and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn runs out of Thanksgiving. He's almost correct with the exception of Thanksgiving is normally an amazing holiday. And it's good to be with family and eat too much food. That's what Thanksgiving is about. Family, food, and football. The three F's of Thanksgiving. And then, time to set up for Christmas. 
Only after Thanksgiving, though. Not before Thanksgiving. You know who I'm talking to. Well, actually, I started setting up, but I still have to put my Christmas tree. That's probably going up Tuesday. Well, I do have to. What wrestling's on? Impact! Oh, I get to live stream Impact again. Yes, 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 yes. Um, that's always fun. That's Tuesday Soup Day. Ooh, Tuesday Soup Day Impact. I'll have to remember that. I'll have to set something up for that. I have to change so much stuff. But, oh, that's right. I don't work Friday either. Red Wine and Pizza Smackdown. I have to do something new for that. Uh, well, enough about that. But then, Sammy Zayn speaks the truth about Black Friday. Because Black Friday sucks. I worked on Black Friday. First of all, there's a special place in hell reserved for all those people that drag their families out after eating turkey. They take them away from the football games. They take them away from setting up for Christmas. So on Thursday, people that go shopping on Thursday, there's a special place in the hell reserved just for you. You sons of bitches. Um, I'll tell you what, Black Friday is a close second. And I, I don't get it. I mean, I know stores have deals. That's only because that's, that's what the populace wants. Black Friday was actually the day. The reason why it's called Black Friday. Here's your history lesson, folks. It's called Black Friday because, because of the Christmas season coming up. A lot of people would start, again, getting ready for Christmas in November. And because, for the most part, that was the end of the, I think, the third quarter. For most businesses, it's called Black Friday because they went from operating in the red to operating in the black. It means they made money. Now, Black Friday is this evil thing where, where people go absolutely psycho. And there is actually a pushback on Thursday. So I don't know how much longer stores, besides Walmart, are going to be doing things Thursday. Because I know Target's like, Target's people said, no, we're not working on Thursday. Um, a lot of smaller businesses are all closed. Publix, I know, is closed. When Dixie's closed. Other companies are saying, you know what? We'll go the traditional open up at like 5 a.m. or like 4 a.m. Black Friday or even midnight. I can understand that. At least you get to take a nap and sleep off all that turkey. So much turkey. And you still get time to watch football and set up for Christmas. So in this match, uh, Cesaro in tights? I don't know. It just seems odd. Uh, Shinsuke eventually takes his, uh, Cesaro tags out. He beats up Kofi a little bit. Shinsuke takes his looks from Kofi. And of course, it's time for Kofi to get beat up. And they're doing the same thing with Kofi Kingston that they did with Xavier Woods. The smaller of the two gets beat up. Eventually, he he kicks out of... He, he actually gets out of the hill corner. Makes his way, tags Big E. Big E suplexes everyone. Sami Zayn gets involved. Eventually... Um, Cesaro is just so strong, though. Cesaro, I don't want to know. In like a, I know pound for pound, Cesaro is one of the strongest WWE athletes. I don't know, like the bench press between him and Big E. Because I'll tell you what, those two are just like juggernauts in the ring. Um, Sami Zayn eventually starts distracting people. Oh, there was that one vicious Shinsuke kick. That's amazing. And then Sami Zayn. Eventually distracts people enough and upsets the wrestler enough, upsets the referee enough where the referee says, "You, you, out of here." I gotta remember. I don't have that much wordage with this. Um, and then Cesaro eats the loss again after a trouble in paradise. Yeah, that's the kick one. And the new day win. They retain their championship. And this was actually a fun match. This, this is a good surf and turf match.
And if you didn't see the picture, the the Deville Nikki Cross match, eh, it was a ham sandwich. Then Daniel Bryan's here. He's in the ringside for the main event. I'm not a big fan of these. Unless it's a TLC has to be an amazing match between these two. This setup, I just don't like the format. I like to end on wrestling. Maybe I'm a traditionalist. Who knows? Uh, Daniel Bryan uh, shows up to the ring. The Fiend comes from the ring. All of a sudden, you have hair flying from the ring. And really, if they wanted to do this the right way, and if Daniel Bryan just needed a haircut, one, he could probably afford to pay for it. Two, he could have a belt versus hair match at TLC. Instead of just like watching Daniel Bryan get a haircut underneath the ring. And that was SmackDown. The only thing that kind of disappointed me was the fact, where's Liv Morgan at? Hey, Liv, I'm single too. But um, there was so much hype about Liv Morgan. I wonder if they're going to make him wait till the buildup for uh, would be the go home show or introduce her this week. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And that was SmackDown. Overall, a good, enjoyable show. It was a cheeseburger of a show. But there's more, folks. Yes, because it's December 1st. I'm out of the hobo corner. Oh, yeah, that's right. NWO is terrible. Um, I don't know how much they're going to show. Here, where is it? Up. Oh. And now that we're back, cheers. I need just a little caffeine. I have to get to the gym kind of soon. So I skipped yesterday. Yesterday it was. I did get my truck back, though. That's a good thing. Let's talk about Starcade! Um, I don't think they're going to show all the matches. I think what's going to happen is that the network's only going to show like an hour of it because they, they want people to see like showcase matches. They show an hour of it. At least we'll get to see three matches. I have no idea what matches they'll show. Hopefully, they'll have a little recap. And maybe I'll be able to find something on YouTube after that. Or, I don't know, later. And that way I'll be able to give the full results. But according to CBS Sports, who's, who's kind of on point, they always get one or two things wrong. but. For the most part, that's pretty good. Um, we're going to have a, actually a whole list of matches. It actually sounds like a kind of house show. Here, so we're going to have Rusev versus the almighty Bobby Lashley. The face is going to win. I think this is going to be a face-heavy win. Um, Rusev is going to beat up Bobby Lashley. Probably Bobby Lashley might lose because of some interference from Lana. I think we almost saw Lana's song once when Bobby Lashley dropped her to the ground. In the old fashioned, ravishing, rude kiss. And we have the New Day versus Revival for the SmackDown Champions. Again, this is the glorified house show. Uh, the belts aren't changing hands. New Day is going to retain their belts. Probably what should be the match of the night. And again, I wonder if these two actually ever faced each other in Ring of Honor. Because we have AJ Styles taking on Kevin Owens. This, folks, is my match of the night. Kevin Owens is going to win only because AJ Styles already dropped his title, so there's no, so they just want to kind of build up Kevin Owens. This should be an amazing match. This match they should actually have televised. And we have a woman's tag team four-way. 
So much booty. All the booty. We have the Kabuki Warriors taking on Sasha Banks and Bailey. Taking on Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. Taking on Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Somehow, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair aren't going to get pinned. I'll say Sasha Banks eats the pin. But this is kind of... Interesting. I wonder... Yeah. You know what? This is going to be my snooze match. Mainly the fact that Sasha... Even though Sasha did really good in her last outing, though. Charlotte Flair has been known to have phone it in a few times. The Kabuki Warriors are good. So yeah, Charlotte Flair who's known to phone it in. You have Sasha Botch. Yeah, the, the Kabuki Warriors are going to win. Again, you can probably skip this one. Then we also have Shinsuke Nakamura and Sami Zayn, a handicapped intercontinental title match. Taking on The Miz, uh, Shinsuke and Sami Zayn are going to win. Again, I don't I don't foresee any championships moving this show. They'll, again, two-on-one they should win, especially with, with their caliber of wrestling taking on The Miz. I do apologize. It's kind of that hour where the sun hits me, and I'll tell you what, I have to warm the house up. My house during the, like, this time of year is always like 10 degrees cooler than it is outside. Except for the Lanai, that's 10 degrees warmer than the house, but that acts like a freaking um, greenhouse. Then we have Seth Rollins taking on Eric Rowan. What's in the cage? That's what I want to know. Um, I don't think they're going to reveal that yet. They'll probably reveal that on TV. Or if they do reveal it, they'll have the recap on TV. Seth Rollins is going to win. They're pushing him to the moon. He might win by some underhanded uh, way, but... Or he could lose. He could lose by DQ. Now, I'll just say Seth Rollins wins. Roman Reigns taking on Baron Corbin. Roman Reigns wins. That's not. And then in my stone cold lock of the night, we have Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, taking on Braun Strowman. And folks, the stone cold lock of the night is going to be the Fiend retaining his championship belt. Again, this is my stone cold lock. And we'll see what happens. We'll see how much I can actually stream. I do plan to stream probably about 7 o'clock. Uh, let's see here. I can take a look very quickly. Uh, just bear with me. Technical difficulties. Uh, let's see here. So here is Google Chrome. You go up to bookmarks. When I go to YouTube, and I have to look through my Gmail to delete certain things. Uh, let's see here. I don't need any care about what's going on today. No, it does take forever to get in. Oh, I have to log in too. I see to have you, Gonzo, on. Gonzo. Ooh. Kara Kelly. Oh, who cares about you? I don't even know who you are. I just want to see what's your face, Russell. I don't care. Schedule and events. There we go. <laughs> Watch three hours of honky. Botcha mania. Uh, let's see here. Eastern time zone. Today is Sunday. Um, Brit Wire. Who cares? Wrestling. Oh, wow. Only between eight and nine tonight. So I have plenty of time to make a card and everything. So that's pretty good. And then, so I'll catch that a little bit. I'll actually catch the recap of that. Let's see here. So there's that. Ooh, I could go 6.05. 7. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. 
Wednesday, I'll catch a dynamite later. Thursday. Whoa, someone dropped the F-bomb, folks. Sear. Smash. So, yep. So, I'll be back. And then the thing. Buttocks. Well, only 29 people watched this one. That's kind of funny. Oh, it's over, too, because it's 4 o'clock. Whatever. Good. Well, it's time for me to be over anyway. So I'll be back live streaming between 8 and 9. I'll also show you my delicious turkey turkey royales that I'll have for breakfast today. Or later today. So everyone have a sear. I know I've been in the sun like half my face, but it's just that hour, folks. I'll tell you what. I'm going to close it. Not.